Hello, hello, hello everyone. Zildjian here with another episode of Let's Talk About Things. This episode we're going to be talking about Warcraft and how it's not a copy of Warhammer. <laughs> so yeah, I mean if you've been watching my videos you see I'm drawing a bunch of fantasy arts, fantasy creatures and races and stuff and you know some of it it's inevitably going to be have some similarities to Warhammer and Warcraft and that just you know got me thinking about like how like every now and then you see comments people actually going oh Warhammer is better than Warcraft because Warcraft is a copy of Warhammer and then case closed that's it like I don't know like no that's definitely not the case like I don't know if you like Warhammer better than you like Warcraft or you like Warcraft better than Warhammer that's there's nothing wrong with that but you can't just dismiss Warcraft for saying merely being oh it's just a copy Warhammer so yeah I'm sure everyone who says that is well aware of the fact that Warcraft at the very beginning the F Blizzard was making the game and it was supposed to be a Warhammer game so yeah it's maybe at the beginning it starts off as a copy as Warhammer like the, in the end the deal didn't work out between Games Workshop and Blizzard and then they couldn't make a Warhammer game so instead they made Warcraft yeah, Warcraft for Hammer. Title is very similar, right? Yeah. But yeah, but uh, and then they hit, so the, the the first Warhammer I mean, first Warcraft game has orcs versus humans. The humans are good, orcs are bad. So that's pretty yeah, that's pretty derivative of Warhammer, but you know, that's also pretty derivative of J.R.R. Tolkien Lord of the Rings. Humans good orcs evil but actually in the Lord of the Rings some humans are good and some humans are evil but I think yeah but the main character humans are good yeah pretty much and the elves are good and the orcs are evil the goblins are evil the trolls are evil etc and then Warcraft 2 introduced some other races this kind of shows where it starts to differentiate from Warhammer a little bit, you know? Because, like, you know, trolls in Warhammer are, like, big. Maybe not as big as the Warhammer, War uh, Lord of the Rings trolls. Because the Lord of the Rings trolls are humongous. Like, they're, like, freaking siege engines. And, like, they're, like, giants. So, yeah. But then the Warcraft trolls are more, like orc elves they're like tall and skinny just like the elves are tall and skinny humans the trolls are tall and skinny and green so they're not necessarily like orcs but you know they're kind of close enough like compared to like lord of the ring trolls and warhammer trolls and like a lot of fantasy trolls but you know what a lot of people have different trolls you know, like those little dolls with like fluffy hair those are also trolls but anyway but so yeah, that's the main, like at Warcraft 2 already starts having a branching off from the typical trolls, like typical fantasy universe, so yeah. They, they, they also had ogres and goblins at that point, but like, so they still have the theme of good versus evil. You got the elves, humans, dwarves, and gnomes on the good side, and then the trolls, uh, orcs, goblins, and ogres on the evil side, but yeah. And then came Warcraft 3 Warcraft 3 just like freaking blew it wide open now at this point it's like just unfair to say Warcraft is merely a copy of Warhammer Warcraft 1 Warcraft 2 I, I could still concede that yeah it's pretty heavily it could be very similar to Warhammer Warcraft 3 now they got like a <clears throat> I mean, I guess some parts are similar, like now they differentiate the elves between high elves and night elves. And in the Warhammer, they have high elves, wood elves, and dark elves. So like the, the Warcraft night elves are basically, they got the skin color, <laughs> different skin color. So it's in that way, it's like dark elves, but also they're like wood elves. So they're kind of combination of dark elves and wood elves, I guess. In the sense that they're like a lot different from the regular high elves, you know? Yeah. I guess they're more close to the wood elves. I mean like, yeah. Thematically, they're more close to the wood elves. It's just that the name and the color of the skin might be more closer to dark elves. So, yeah. 
but thematically you know the living in the forest and stuff and got druids and tree people and etc that's mostly more like more in line with wood elves yeah so <clears throat> but but that's not the only thing they also have like the undead they have like vampire demons they got the zombies and skeletons i mean that's not that different from typical fantasy universes but they have um wait that was the three faction right I can't remember. Yeah, but there's also like so many other NPC races. Yeah, no, no, there's good, yeah, four factions. I already mentioned it, the Night Owls. So I, I got a brain fart there. They got the, so they got the Alliance, they got the Horde, they got the, the Night Owls and the Undead, the Scourge. Yeah, so they had like, they start adding more races and also, <clears throat> Um, yeah, so they have like all these NPC races, <clears throat> and like they had that at the Tauren, which are like Minotaurs, they joined the Horde. <clears throat> so, yeah, in Warhammer, they have Minotaurs and like a whole bunch of satyrs and all that stuff. They're all evil, they're all part of the Beastmen, they all serve chaos. Yeah, but in Warcraft, you know, they, they, the, the Minotaurs or the Tauren. They're not necessarily evil because now war in the orcs in Warcraft Three, they're not. They're no longer just evil beings trying to kill all humans. Now they're more portrayed as more like, uh, more kind of like, uh, I mean, you like TV tropes or whatever. They're like savage nobles. So basically, so, so basically, they're like a little bit more pr primitive, barbaric, but they are not necessarily evil. And like the show, like the history is showing that like the orcs used to be like regular like regular folks and then they got corrupted by the demons and stuff and they used to be brown and now they're green because of the demon corruption and like after by the time of world of warcraft released like you know they introduced you know lots of brown orcs like untainted orcs and then like yeah but head back to warcraft a little bit so like yeah so now the orcs are no longer just pure evil at this point like everyone has like more like it's more approaching the morally gray area factions of like game of thrones which is super popular now because it's not just good versus evil pretty much everyone's an asshole and like well the starks are mostly good but like like where it's more like gray versus gray not black versus white no good versus evil kind of thing yeah because i guess that's kind of like like unrealistic and boring to some people i i kind of like either either or but yeah so Warcraft is now approaching the gray versus gray, like everyone does good and bad things. Although I guess the, well the like the Burning Legion, they're pretty much evil. They're, they just want to destroy everything. And the Scourge, they're part, they're created as part of the Burning Legion, but then they rebel, they revolt. I mean, yeah, they're kind of evil in the sense that they're killing humans and turning them into zombies. But the, like the Lich King just wants to create an undead paradise for his own people. And then he revolts against the Burning Legion, you know, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, and then there's like the Draenor, which is like another species found on the Orc planet. And yeah, and also another thing, the like Warhammer, they're all on one freaking planet. In Warcraft, like I have war, like they have it so that the Orcs and the Ogres and the Trolls, well, no, no, the Trolls were on the Earth or whatever it's called, but like the Orcs and the Ogres. They came from a different planet. The the Drainer, wait. Oh my God. The Drain Eye. The Drain Eye came from another planet. Drainer is the planet name. Like they got now in War World of Warcraft. Warcraft. They got like a bazillion planets. There's like the Burning Legion is going through all over the galaxy, the universe. Like they're a swarm in Starcraft, but that's off point. Because Warcraft and Starcraft, they kind of borrow ideas from each other. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, anyway, so like, so they got like bazillion planets, they got all these gods and demons and like freaking, like it's, the lore is like so much complicated with the introduction of Warcraft 3. It's like no longer, it's not even close to being a copy of Warhammer. It's like evolved behind Warhammer. They got like a bazillion new species and like, especially if you go, if you, I don't, I didn't, the last time I played a Warcraft game was World of Warcraft, the vanilla. And then I didn't play anymore, but I did like read, I like to read the Wikipedia of all the expansions and stuff. So like, there's like a bazillion new species now. And like, 
a lot of them are reskins, but like, you know, like trolls. They got like jungle trolls, ice trolls, sand trolls, like swamp trolls. Like, I don't know. There's like so many. Even though a lot of them look pretty similar. And then like, you know, like the elves are like super diverse. I don't, I don't know if they just love elves or something, but like, like, yeah, like every faction, you know, there's good people, there's bad people, there's evil people. Like the orcs, you know, they're, they, they, they ended up freeing themselves from the demonic possession but some of them still prefer to be possessed by demons or having the power of the demons so there's like super mutated orcs i guess there would be similar to chaos warriors and warhammer universe and then like you know like there's also the same thing with the elves and you know, like some of them have the, like the full demonic powers and then some of them are just untainted they have no demonic powers and then some and then some of them are just born from the demonic tainted orcs from long ago yeah so there's like so many orcs now like so some of them are evil some of them are good and some of them are like just they're just great they're just serving their own self-interest you know like you know because like like there's that i think it's called the earth alliance so basically there's like shamans and druids of all the races all the traditionally good and evil races they're all joined together like trying to like save the world and stuff Thrall was a part of it. I'm, I, I, I didn't check if he's still part of it, but like he used to be the leader of Horde, and then I think he left to like join to become like the permanent leader of that alliance. I mean, the, yeah, <laughs> to protect the world against demons and stuff. Like, yeah. So it's like really complicated. So complicated. I can't even keep catch keep up with it. And like, I always like to look at the elves. So like. So like I said, Warhammer has the High Elves, Dark Elves, and the uh, Wood Elves. I admit, I played every pretty much every Warcraft game. I don't, I'm not that familiar with the Warhammer, but I, I, I mean, I still look at the miniatures and I read the Ar articles, you know. So correct me if I'm wrong. So that's three races of elves. <clears throat> now War, War, Warcraft. You got the High Elves. You got the Night Elves. And then later on, they added the Blood Elves, which are descendant of High Elves, but they're like using, they're like running, they're running out of magic and stuff. And then they turn to the demons because like they joined Illidan and like, so they, so they, now they use, they're basically, so the High Elves, they use like holy magic and stuff. The Night Elves use Druidism and then the Blood Elves use like demon magic. And then later on, there was also like Undead Elves. Um, God damn it. There's like undead elves, um, and then there's uh, there's also like other stuff that I'm not even familiar with. Like there's like void elves, there's uh, there's like these spider elves, and then there's also other things where like naga used to be elves, satyrs used to be elves, harpies used to be elves, and like there's like if you include those it, into it, there's like ten different types of elves. You know, there's like the fell blood elves. They're like addicted to. The, the, the blood demon magic and then there's like wretched elves they're basically they got so addicted they turn into mutated monsters and like there's like it's like so many bazillion types of creatures and races and, and factions some of them you know some of them are like pro alliance some of them pro horde and like and neutral like even the goblins like in warhammer goblins are just evil they'll freaking they serve the orcs and they'll like attack and kill anything but in warcraft they used to be evil, but then later on, like in World of Warcraft, now they're like a neutral. I'm sure there's still goblins, you know, fighting for the horde and stuff, but now the goblins are just have like some massive trade network and stuff like that. And like, yeah, so there's like, and there's also like alliance factions or sub factions or whatever organizations where I think it's like the Crusaders or the, but there's like, there's like one faction where it's kind of like paladins and stuff, but they go around like killing, um, they're supposed to be just killing horde and demons and stuff and i think there's like a plot to us where they're actually serving their uh, their leader is actually possessed by a demon or like some something complicated i don't know there's always some crazy stuff happening in the warcraft lore yeah but basically like yeah so like some humans want to just kill all orcs on site some orcs just want to kill humans on site and then there's a lot of them where they're okay with each other where it's like rivalries where like when they they, they see a human or an orc they won't necessarily just attack them be hostile on site but in warhammer you pretty much got to kill anything that's not the same species as you on site 
because pretty much everyone is like evil or good or etc even like the good races hate each other the dwarves and elves and humans etc <laughs> yeah in warcraft it's it's a lot more i guess you could say realistic like human history like humans where like there's like different factions and sub factions and not everyone is necessarily going to hate you and like you etc yeah everyone got their own different motives and some of them like have like hidden motives and stuff like that yeah and then there's like organizations where you got different nationalities and races and everything all working together so yeah <clears throat> so that's so that's why i think it's really unfair to just dismiss warcraft as a copy of warhammer because it's nothing like warhammer and it's maybe at the Warhammer, I mean Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2, it's pretty similar. But Warcraft 3 and beyond now to War, World of Warcraft with the Brazilian expansions, it's way completely different. It's so much more different. And it's like, it's, it's I, I don't know. I like to think Warcraft is now like the ultimate fantasy universe. There's like so many things. Like the only thing I can think of that can have like, maybe a super diverse area, area, like it's like magic the gathering because they had to print new cards every day you know <laughs> like they got to create new races and sub races and kingdoms and factions like they got to keep on making new stuff for every for every expansion they make you know so that's different yeah and i guess like you could say like warhammer they're kind of limited to the miniatures because they can't just create new kingdoms and races and stuff like that because then they have to new make new they have to make new miniatures like at now like in the age of sigma it's it's no longer there's no longer like 10 different races or whatever. it's just order versus chaos and destruction and something like that like they just have like i think they like have four factions or something like they just simplified it even more instead of diversifying they simplified even more while warcraft is like diversifying through like bazillion factions and races and obviously i'm exaggerating but you i think I would hope you get my point, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Warcraft is not a copy of Warhammer. It's not even it's nothing like it. It's completely different. It's its own beast. It's evolved way beyond Warhammer. That's not to say there's anything wrong with Warhammer, just I'm just saying Warcraft is definitely not a <laughs> copy of Warhammer. So yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed my rambling about it and looking forward to you know my future fantasy art work yeah so i'll be creating my own copy of warcraft in my drawings with a little dash of warhammer and lord of the rings and maybe some other fantasy universes or magic the gathering where the elements are fighting each other and stuff but yeah so yeah, hopefully everyone enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, comment, rate the video. Be sure to let me know down below, yeah. Subscribe, oh my God, I'm saying it's the same thing over and over, looping, infinite loop. Okay, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.